tax years of 2014 to 2019, more than $17 million came to Hunter Biden and his associates. $8.2, $8.3 million directly went to Hunter Biden. And they came from countries such as China, Ukraine, Romania. Um, some of the items and gifts that he received was, for example, an $80,000 diamond, over $142,000 Porsche. It is absolutely unconscionable. And that was House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Congressman Jason Smith with me on Friday's Mornings with Maria over on Fox Business. On the amount of money Hunter Biden and his family took in from 2014 to 2019, from foreign nationals, and then evaded taxes on top of the influence peddling. This, as Smith's committee revealed on Thursday, Hunter Biden threatened a Chinese business associate back in 2017 in a WhatsApp message uh, that he was sitting next to his father, then Vice President Joe Biden, and he better keep his, quote, commitment or face retaliatory consequences from the vice president and everybody he knows. In the text, Hunter Biden writes this, I am sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the commitment was not fulfilled, tell the director that I would like to re resolve this now before it gets out of hand, and now means tonight. And Z, if I get a call or text from anyone involved in this other than you, Zhang, or the chairman, I will make certain that between the man sitting next to me and every person he knows, and my ability to forever hold a grudge, that you will regret not following my direction. I'm sitting here waiting for the call with my father. Joining me now with reaction are New York Post columnist Miranda Devine and Peter Schweitzer, president of the Government Accountability Institute. Miranda is the author of The Laptop from Hell. Peter is the author of Red Handed. Both are bestsellers and must reads. Thanks for joining us, uh, both of you. Miranda, let me get your take first on this uh, WhatsApp message that really sounds more like a mobster uh, doing a shakedown than the son of a president. It does, and I think it shows you just how important Joe Biden was in the shakedown operation that the Biden family had going around the world, that they raked in, uh, you know, millions and millions of dollars from particularly China. Um, and it, uh, Joe Biden needs to answer the question, was he in the room? And so far, they've managed to stonewall. I think what we've seen from this new uh, whistleblower material from the two IRS agents is more evidence of Biden family corruption uh, on the one hand. And on the other hand, the second string and perhaps more important string uh, of this story is the um, the uh, I guess, corruption of the FBI and the DOJ. You see throughout uh, this investigation how the DOJ uh, put its thumb on the scale, uh, refused to allow search warrants um, on the cottage on Joe Biden's property where Hunter Biden had been living, yeah. um, tipped off uh, Hunter Biden's lawyers to a search warrant that was going to be executed on his storage facility. Um, that is against the law. Uh, so th I think that uh, you're right, that the gloves need to come off uh, with the Republicans. They have a lot of power. Congress has a lot of power to compel people to, uh, to testify. And if they refuse, to hold them in contempt. Yeah. And if they flout those contempt laws, to then fine them every day. They don't need to rely on the DOJ to enforce anything. Mm, very good point. Look, you both have broken so much news on this story. Peter, you broke a lot of this years ago uh, about the Biden family influence peddling. And you've got new information this morning, uh, breaking news on a cell phone that Joe Biden was using. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting. What is the line of communications between Hunter Biden and his business partners and Joe Biden when he's vice president of the United States? It's not the government phone. It's not Joe Biden's personal phone. We know from the laptop that Hunter Biden's business paid for a private phone line that Joe Biden used while he was vice president. It was from AT&T. It was $300 a month. It was a global phone where you could access somebody anywhere around the world. Uh, we shared that phone number and that account information with people at the House Oversight Committee. My hope is that, that they haven't already. They will subpoena those records because I think it will give an indication on how tight the communication was. Uh, and that may be the phone for example, that the Ukrainian, the Burisma executive, might have used uh, in this allegation uh, that he talked to Joe Biden in re recorded conversations. I, I would just say one other thing, Marie. Please join the conversation.
Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the Macad TV family. Please like and share Macad TV. We love you all. Please support Macad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.